Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Yoda and today we're going to be talking about my 2022 season recap, mainly the races and a bit of park running, time trials and stuff like that. But how I progressed, you know, from my PBs at the start of the year to what I have currently, which is, you know, a bit of a progression in every single distance that I race, which is the 3k, 5k, 10k and half marathon. Um, at the start of the year, my PBs were 9.29 in the 3k. 16.27 in the 5k, 35.57 in the 10k, and I didn't have a half marathon PR. So, um, a lot of you will know what I progressed onto now, but I might quickly say it as well. I now have a 9.23k, which I ran in a 3k split en route to a 5k. I've done a 15.45k, and I've done a 32.42 10k, and then I've done a 76.32 half marathon. So, yeah, done quite a bit this year. Pretty happy with it. I can definitely improve on all those PBs this year. There's a lot left in the tank. I mean, the 5k PB was so recent, I'm still in that shape. So if I just build on from here and stay injury free, I say that, but I did a 38k run this morning. But anyway, if I stay injury free, I'm gonna improve. And yeah, 2023 is looking to be absolutely insane. And I'm pretty excited to see how we go. But I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a like. The year was off to a good start with 6 months of high mileage and consistent long runs under my belt. Although I had 8 hours of work on my feet prior, I knew I had a solid chance of dipping under my previous personal best at this Turbo Runners 5k event. I came away with a 3rd place finish and a new PR of 1615. After another 6 weeks of consistent base training and long runs, I felt confident enough to run faster than the 1615 time in a time trial setting alone. Although it wasn't much, I managed to lower my personal best by 2 seconds down to 16.13. Shout out to Pat Pleasel and John Chen for filming this amazing time trial. Two days after this new PB, I backed it up by winning a rogues park on off a slower race with a big kick in the last 2Ks. I raced with Ian and I had a good time. With over a month of solid training, I was part of a relay team with Chris Gap, Pat Blazel, and Aaron Sandra Sigarin, where I did the 2nd, 4th and 6th leg as I had to head to work and leave the race early. I ran the 2nd fastest relay leg of all time, even with my 3 legs being much closer together than everyone because I obviously had to go to work. But our team broke the course record which was a huge accomplishment for us early on in the year. Just one week later, I headed down to Orange for a 10k road race at 1000 meters of altitude where I ran 3508 which was a new personal best on a Healy course. Although I knew I was capable of much faster and better conditions, I was happy with my second place finish as I knew I had the Sydney 10 coming up in May to go much quicker. Most importantly, it was a fun trip out with Dom and Arthur and yeah, I would totally do it again. About a month and a bit later, I wanted to test how my training was going, so therefore I hit up St. Peter's Park Run with some of the no-name run club boys. It ended up being super fun with a clean sweep by Steven, myself, and Ian. This was the big race of the year that I was looking forward to. All I had was long runs and easy runs with strides leading up to this race, as I wanted to see how far that can take me. I had the race of my life with a 32-42 finishing time, surprising myself and surpassing all expectations. This is the biggest breakthrough race for me this year, and with a 50 second finishing place in a state 10k road championship race, I was really happy. I flew out to Japan for a 3 week holiday that afternoon and therefore had a lot of admin to do including moving my stuff out, getting a covid test, and getting a secondary run in, and then making the flight on time. During my Japan trip, I only did one park run which felt like a simple threshold workout due to it being slower than the recent 10k PB pace that I just ran 6 days prior. I ended up running a time of 16.45 and it was just nice to get a park run win in my home country. Just 2 days after landing back in Sydney, I decided to take on a tough hilly and trail course park run in the Blue Mountains. Due to coming second in the same course last year, I was hungry to get the win this time and I did. This race took place on my birthday and I was on a running camp, but because I felt burnt out and tired from travelling and couch surfing, I departed from the camp early to go back to Sydney and recuperate and spend some quality time alone. After gathering myself for a bit and completing 2 weeks of dog sitting while trying to balance that with work and running 100km a week, I attempted a PB again at Rhodes Park Run and I was shy by just 1 second, finishing with a time of 16.14 and taking the win. It was bittersweet but I knew with competition I could have gone quicker. In late June, Luke Smith and I linked up in an effort to break the 16 minute barrier in the 5k. 
We met up at Rogue's Park Run and I ranked 16.03 and Luke ranked 16.14, which is a disappointing race for both of us, even though it was a new PR. But more importantly, coming 4 seconds short of my goal really fueled me for the race that was coming up 4 days later on the track. After a quick 4 days, it was time for the Turbo 5k. This is up there as one of my favourite races of this year as the field was stacked and the atmosphere was electric with many supporters for such a low key event. The splits were 307, 309, 315, 311 and 305. I was absolutely elated to run 1550 and break the 16 minute barrier for the first time in my life and come away with a third place finish. It also felt surprisingly controlled. Shout out to Pat McNamara, Mick Chapman, Matt Gore, Will Austin Gray and Max Russell for the company. As nice as it was to have had almost a perfect first half of the year, the momentum had to stop and be impeded at some point. July was a bad month for me. This is the park run that I should not have done. I had COVID the week prior and came out with a perineal tendon injury which meant I could only wear Vaporfly and Exposense with no other shoe. I also knew that I had a 25km hilly race the next day and therefore I had to hold back for the first 4km before kicking down in the last kilometer to take the win without taxing my body too much. UTML 25k was a race that I was looking forward to a lot until I got COVID, when I realized how much harder the race was going to be with the interrupted training and an injury. It came to me as a surprise when I made ends meet and came first with a new course record. Here was not my thing but this race made me enjoy and embrace vertical running a bit more. The hectic 5000 meter race organized by turbo runners was a weird one. I knew that it was going to be tight making it to the start line as I had just started getting my second injury post COVID, which is the piriformis muscle in the hip. It was quite a stupid decision to race but I ended up making it to the start line with only 5 minutes to spare and therefore I had to race with no warm up. I was happy with my first place finish in a time of 16.04 given the circumstances. I definitely ran this race off of anger to myself. This was the race I cared about the most this year. I don't think I've ever signed up for a race 3 months early before. With the way the first half of the year went, I had an ambitious goal of closing in on the 70 minute barrier to make a statement to myself that the half marathon distance is my event. I was devastated as the piriformis injury was one of the most persistent obstacles I've ever had to overcome. The week leading up to the race, I had only run once, which is a 1km run where I had to stop and walk just a few hundred meters into the jog. I lost a lot of fitness, cramped in the quadricep muscle at 14k due to compensatory load and ended up running 76 minutes. A year prior, this time would have been an amazing time, but I was extremely disappointed. I shall now channel my inner Ian Zhu and seek vengeance in the years to come as I aspire to be a good half marathoner in the future. Six days after Ian's 2.48 marathon, Ian and I decided to do a chill St. Peter's Park run. We just stuck together for 4 k's and then thanks to my fresh legs I managed to pull away in the final kilometer. The state 3k championships is a race that I look forward to each year. It was extremely disappointing that the race was moved several hours earlier than normal this year as the hot and humid conditions caused me to run an extremely slow 9.25 which is still a new personal best at the time. I knew I could have run faster and so it left me wondering what I could have done if the conditions were better. The Booty 14k coaster run was my first ever trail race. I was relatively nervous but I knew I should be in the mix to win the race. Although I enjoyed the different feeling of racing in the trails, I think I prefer going slow in trails and enjoying it rather than completely sending through them. I ran the third fastest time ever on this specific course and I came first in a time of 66 minutes and 56 seconds. Coming into the last month of the year, I wanted to put one more dent in my 5k PB as I finally started running a bit more consistently after being injured for months. Although I had to move all my stuff the day before and having had slept on couches for 7 days leading up to the race, I managed to invite enough no name run club friends to join in in order to push me to a new 5k PB of 1540, taking out the win in the process as well. Thank you again to Leo Peterson for pacing me. After running a 1540 with a 301 last kilometer, I thought I had a lot left in the tank. I definitely got too excited and went out too quick in this 5000 meter track race organized by Turboronics, and it cost me from breaking yet another PB due to the fast start. I think if paced right I could have gone a bit under 1540 which is disappointing to look back on. On Christmas day I was going to try and win with the slowest time possible but some new runner in the area decided to go out with a 302 first kilometer and therefore I thought it might be worth hopping on behind to see if I can get towed through to a cheeky PB. I realized after 2k's that we were both going too fast but I managed to pull away and still cling on to a 1559 and I won the race by about 45 seconds. All in all, 2022 has been an incredibly successful year for me in running and I'm excited to keep progressing as a runner in 2023. Thank you all for your support and I'm looking forward to meeting more fellow runners this coming year.